Okay, I'm back with part two. If you remember, I was here before with these chameleon dip powders and I used them as pigments. And I did say I wanted to do a comparison to see how they look dipped. So I have my two little fingers prepared and we're just going to get straight on and dip, dip, dip. So we will use the... Chocolate Hills first. Gorgeous, gorgeous sparkly pigment. I'm using the Nicole Diary Dip Liquids. And we are just going to dip away. So doing this on a tip is no different than doing it on your nails, be them natural or with a tip. Can see, whoop, he dropped it. One thing I did forget was my brush. I will just go and get that because I've got a complete new setup. Still using that, this new one, and everything is just all over the place. I'll just get my brush and I'll be back. Okay, so I decided to get a fan brush instead. Because so that might be a bit more. You can see there is pigment flying everywhere. I think I need to grab a new base coat. I think this one is more or less empty. I'm not too bothered about wiping the brush when I'm done because that one's empty. So we'll just dip that right in, tap off the excess. I do believe that was this one. So, if we can get some focus, you can see you do get a, at the moment, different-ish finish. So, I'll let that soak in and I'm just going to go and grab a new base coat. Okay, I'm back again. <laughs> so, just gently, you can see there where... That base coat. I was running out. It never adhered to the whole nail. But not to worry, because we have a new base coat. And we're going to go for a complete layer over the nail, this will be the final layer not forgetting to wipe the brush and oh, a final dip tap off the excess and we will let that soak in Super, super pretty. Okay. Let's put the lid on that one. Okay, pull them together. Let's turn that over. Let's come in with Crystal Cave. Just remind you again of that beautiful pigment. Come in with my second now. I 
This one's like that is pretty. So we're going to let that soak in, and then off to the side here. I'm going to take this one and brush off any excess powder. And then I'm going to come in with the activator and just activate that one. You may have to wipe the brush. But give it a nice layer of activator and then we'll leave that to dry. Okay, back to the Crystal Cave, Let's brush off the excess, apply another layer of base to the hole now. Now for this one I'm only going to be doing these two. Um, I did three on the other one because that base coat was a bit dried out and manky. So dip and tap. Just beautiful. So I'm just going to let that soak in. And we'll do a quick comparison to that, to that. So you can see the difference. But obviously we're letting that soak in. Whereas if we come back to this one now, you can see the activator applied. They are somewhat very very similar don't know if you'll get the chameleon effect if i move it around in the light but not particularly so let's come back to this one dust off that excess powder very lightly come in with the activator Just activate that. Again, you may need to wipe your brush. And we'll let them dry. I will fold these off camera for speed. And then we will come back, add the top coat and have a look at the comparison. So, I'll be back soon. Okay, that didn't take too long to just quickly file and buff, so i to make sure I get the right one. We're going in with the activator again. And this is what helps the top coat to dry quicker. So now we're coming in with the top. And a nice quick two brush coat. Wipe the brush. And then swipe and swipe and wipe your brush. And there are the two chameleon powders dipped. So if we comparison, do the comparison now to the pigment, you can see there is a difference. That is chocolate. No. 
yeah chocolate hills so that's that one and then this is crystal cave so whatever way you use them either as a pigment or as a dip powder they look absolutely stunning super easy to use either way i love the effect i love both the colors and i hope you found this interesting and helpful and until my next video thank you for your support thank you for watching and i'll see you later bye